Hey guys, welcome back to another video of creating a React Native mobile app, designing it, developing the server. So this is, I guess, series four, part four of uh, all of the um, development series. So in the first series, we designed a mobile app. In the second series, we actually developed it in React Native. And the third series, we went ahead and made a server for it to do all of our actions. So now in this fourth part, we're going to combine the server and the front end React Native mobile app together. So it's a cohesive client server architecture. Now, um, before we do that, we need to go ahead and install. So open up your project for the to-do app, the front end and type npm i Axios. So Axios is what we're going to use to send our post request, get request, delete request. Um, and if you guys made any other requests, uh, that as well. So once you've done that, we go ahead and type expo start to start it back up. Now, one thing we will need to do is go ahead and open up CMD. And in the CMD, we're going to need to grab our IP address, uh, our local area IP address. So go ahead and type IP config. And this will bring up here. So wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi IPv4 address. Go ahead and grab that, copy that. And in our auth, type const address is equal to that. Um, it's not as simple as that, sorry is equal to HTTP colon slash slash that colon 5000 like that. So that is our actual address um, <laughs> to which we're going to make requests to. So we'll use this um, in the production app. It would probably be the same host is hosting from or, you know, it would be a web address or some sort of API address, or maybe api.todoapp.com slash uh, etc. Or todoapp.com slash API slash uh, users etc. Whatever request we made. So now that we've got that, we're going to also in our utils create two files. The first file will be set auth token. Now this is going to be what sets the auth token for our Axios requests. Uh, it doesn't, we'll have it here as a global sort of thing. So then we don't need to keep typing it in, in other places. So let's go ahead and type import Axios from Axios, just like that. Cool. And then const set auth token is equal to token arrow function, curly brackets. And if token, Go ahead and do return axios dot defaults dot headers dot common x dash off dash token is equal to token and then else he'll just go ahead and do delete axios dot defaults dot headers dot common x dash off dash token I guess we don't really need to do the return. There's not going to be much code here anyway. So what we can do is get rid of the return and then just type else here like that. So then we've got if token access dot default dot headers dot common and then x auth token is equal to token else go ahead and delete that token. Uh, so here I've put default change that to defaults. There we go. Cool. And then export default set off token just like that cool that's that one and then our utils we can go javascript file second one we'll call this extract errors and inside of extract errors let's go ahead and do import is empty from dot slash is empty and const extract errors equals server errors like so if is empty server errors then go ahead and return it so do nothing if there is no server errors and then let errors equal to 
curly brackets so create an empty object and then server errors dot for each so for each item inside the server errors because server errors is an array return the error so the item um which is an object and go ahead and just return or not return but do errors so that is our empty object error dot pram inside of uh, squared brackets equal error dot message just like that and then we'll go ahead and do return error so what this line on line 8 will create is an object similar to this email or rather email uh, some error and if there's multiple then it'll just loop through and then password etc like that so and then we can then use that object in our error handling to where we're showing errors etc so that is our setup um in our auth we can just go ahead and import the ones that we need so import extract did i default oh yeah export default extract errors so export default extract errors like so save that and then we'll go ahead and import extract errors and go ahead and import um set auth token and last but not least import axios from axios just like so cool so that's our setup in the next episode we'll go ahead and start creating these routes using the server or rather creating these actions using our server routes so thanks for watching guys catch you then